What's up guys and welcome back to Astro Music and Tutorials. I'm Ijo and today we're going to be making a collaborative sleepy lo-fi beat with none other than Kayo. Now if you're familiar with the YouTube lo-fi tutorial community, you definitely know Kayo. Kayo's a fellow YouTuber and lo-fi producer like me and he has over a million streams on Spotify. So I've been trying to do this video for a long time but I just haven't had the time or the luck to successfully complete a full video. I filmed one last week but then for some reason none of my voice was recorded so I just wasted an entire hour. But if you're seeing this video right now, that means obviously the video has worked out and the collaboration was a success so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make like three or four elements and then I'm gonna export the stems and send them over to Kayo and Kayo is gonna add whatever he wants like a guitar or drums and then once he's done he'll send those stems back to me and if we both end up liking it a lot we might actually release it so enough talk let's get into the video So first of all, let me see if I can figure out a chord progression. So Kayo has a similar style of happy, upbeat lo-fi music like I do. So a down-tempo, happy, sleepy lo-fi track would be pretty good, I guess. A few moments later. I may have gotten something. A little longer than a few minutes later. So that took a while, but I finally managed to get a chord progression. This is what it sounds like. So I found this cool preset on effect rack called random whisper delays. It subtly and randomly delays certain notes in the chord progressions. So it sounds very uh, ethereal in my opinion. Perfect for a sleepy lo-fi track. I EQ'd out the sub bass frequencies and even some of the high frequencies and boosted some of the high mids. And then of course I have the wider and now let's make a, uh, I think we'll make an ambience of some sort. That might be good. Just gonna click in some random notes. This might sound bad. I don't like that sound. Ooh, that's cool. This is a plugin that I recently found. It's called Pancake 2, which is a free panning plugin. It just bounces it from the left and right side. And you can adjust the mix knob depending on how wide you want it. Now I'm gonna add a pad and that may be it because I don't wanna add too much. I want to give Kayo as much space as he needs. I'm gonna have the pad follow the chord progression. Yoink. I know I said in the beginning that it was going to be a happy upbeat and nothing is really happy and upbeat about this or sleepy lo-fi in general. So sorry if I led you on. I, I like this and I hope you do too. So now I'm going to export the stems. Go to file, export, wave. And now the important part, you have to go down and click on split mixer tracks. 
So that way, each of those mixer channels that you've assigned the sounds to, they'll get split into different stems. So now, as you can see, in the Coyote Collab folder, I have the Ambient 2, the Ambient Lead, Pad, Piano, and Reverse Crash. That's how you export your stems. Now, all I have to do is send these over to Coyote. I'm going to wait a few days or weeks, just going to give him as much time as he needs. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in a few days or weeks. What's up, Ijo? I really love the track that you sent over. Just jumped straight into it, recording a couple of different guitar parts. I'm hoping that you'll be able to play around with, arrange in any way you see fit. First thing that I really thought about with the track here was building out the intro. So I, I started with layering a really simple guitar arp, which just sounds like this. And then I added a simple fade so that it really softly comes into the track. Then recorded this little guitar motif onto the intro, sounded like this. Once I had that, I layered the two guitar parts together to create what I think is a pretty effective intro to the track. intro guitar kind of moving us into the next section fades out a little bit of processing on those guitars i washed out the intro guitar with a ton of delay and some solaris for a nice kind of washed out reverby sound and then the arp really simple just a compressor and some imaging to give it a little bit more wideness at this point i wanted to layer in another guitar up i wanted to bring it up an octave so i added another really simple guitar up that just sounds like this to add to the layering And then I introduced that into the hook of the song. I think that adds a really nice separation from the intro into the hook and just gives a really nice bright layer to the track along with some of those beautiful ambient leads that you've added there. The final guitar layer that I wanted to add was another kind of counter melody to everything else that you got going on. So I added this little guitar lick that kind of repeats throughout. Once I had that, I put it all together and it sounds like this. Once I had all of those guitar lines down, it was sounding really lovely. And the last thing that I needed to do for you here was just add some drums. I loaded up some of my favorite drum sounds and created this really simple drum pattern. So as you can hear, we've just got a kick, a snare, then I've got a nice kind of flattened snare there that has a nice echo, and then a really simple hi-hat pattern. I'll chuck that into our pattern and then Let's take a listen to how it's all sounding now from the top.
super super lovely shout out ijo for asking me to be a part of this track it's been a super fun to work on this just gonna bounce this and then i send it back your way well that was the song i hope you guys enjoyed it big shout out to kayo for taking the time to work on this video and helping me complete the song i think it turned out wonderfully please let me know in the comments if you think we should release it or if you just have any thoughts about the song please let us know also mention if you like these type of collaboration videos i'd love to do more of them in the future with other lo-fi artists or other artists in general like and subscribe if you like this video and uh, i guess i'll see you next week mm -hmm.